No, don't feel like you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not okay. okay. No, I, I think I'm learning to this house because I used to do that. Where it's a small thing. And the people now can't just refund something. No, it's not the money. See, this guy is a big Not see, everything. This is Tango Tay. I never said that like three days ago. Really? I'm waiting for me to do every night. I'm going to. Really, like, see what's in the next city. Like, I can't do some stupid people. Go start for a rain. Lock us. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Still from Pop with Lillian How are you all doing? So after the life eviction show Angel decided her to have a sit out with Ile Baye and Alex And they started discussing about the whole Venita Adekule Pardon me Somebody's uh, toy and all that And Angel was really angry Saying that do you know that when Big Brother announced that there was a tie, that Venita stood up and was giving um, mercy fraud kisses, like a kind of, oh, if Adekule cannot, you know, if um, Cross cannot have it, since she was vying for Cross this time around, you know, at least nobody got it. And Angel was like, what's the meaning of that? Was it not mercy fraud that even rejected her idea of Adekule being pardoned? And Alex as well added like that she doesn't even see the reason why uh, Venita doesn't want herself or even near to be pardoned rather adequately. But Ilebaye told them that it's a choice. She can actually choose whoever she wants to be pardoned to be pardoned. And at this point I'm like why is this thing of adequately being pardoned a problem? She been a don't rally for fraud. Even you during uh, summer's time you say they should carry your own and give summer. And now somebody wants her man to be pardoned. You have a problem with it. Let's be neutral in this game. Because Shebi Summer is not Angel's uh, boyfriend or what. <laughs> These housemates, uh, they can be very funny, share. Meanwhile, Neo and Summer had a quiet time thinking about the evicted housemates. And Neo was like talking on how Tolani, what he has with Tolani is just so mutual and neutral in the sense that they are loyalty they maintained it regardless of anything happening in the game that they came into an agreement on um during you know nomination and all that how they will stick to each other and she said this afternoon tolani gave him two sardines that it shows that tolani as well was having that feeling of she being evicted that she gave it to him tell him to just hold it just in case and the fraud himself in week two said he had a dream where he left in week five. Meanwhile, regarding regarding the turn up of question, Ibuka asked Kim. Kim went ahead to narrate to Perry how she has been unaware of some certain things in the house, and even mentioned to him that Cross and Elizabeth's kiss that she wasn't aware she was in the bathroom having her shower. That it was just a few days ago that she got to find out about it she didn't even know such a thing happened and now here ibuka is asking her a question that definitely this is what a perception be created outside of the house and she's not happy with it on the other hand doing thinks white money is so worried about cc so according to doing said white money has asked her if she has reconciled with cc and White Money is saying that he only asked this question because in the salon, he saw Doin passing an item to CC. But Doin is saying no, White Money, that you've asked her this question before. That if you are so worried about CC, why not go talk to her? Why are you like, you know, asking her repeatedly about CC? That she really thinks you are so worried and obsessed. But White Money is saying no, that's not what, you know, you can't see what I'm thinking. <laughs> Meanwhile, Angel feels Big Brother is being a little lenient with them, saying that coming this week, Big Brother should try and give them a very tough task. I feel like it's a choice. She can literally pardon for she can actually check for anybody. Why Neo disagreed with her, Angel wants her to say that she wants Big Brother to give them a little bit of tension, like some sort of a prank or a task that will require them you know to keep cracking and keep thinking deep thinking and all that and i'm like uh -uh. is it this just comedy week that is making you see big brother as a <laughs> as a child's play 
prince who was able to do Perez's hair halfway and couldn't finish that because they left the salon and being that the style Perez wanted will not be achieved with the kind of texture, texture of his hair. Prince has gone ahead to tell Perez that he will make another style for him but then Perez is insisting on the initial style and say you know what Ref maybe you should have to refund me but Omashola is saying no. Why do I keep calling this guy Omashola? Shawzi is saying no. There is no way they will refund Pere because Prince already gave him a haircut. So he's remaining the braiding aspect of the style. Why they were dragging this? They were joking, Leo. They were just having fun. Omashola now decided to call Sisi to come be their lawyer and judge this matter. Sisi just came in and was like, if it's Pere, Pere is at fault already. <laughs> And the whole house just started laughing about it. Vinita also added that when they are done, they should know they have another case. That this is not the hairstyle Adekule asked for. That what Adekule asked for is Ibuka's hairstyle. That this thing on, Ibu on Adekule's ha head doesn't look like Ibuka's signature hairstyle. Haircuts. But then the prince was like, no, that, you know, Ibuka's uh, shape of head is different with that of Adekule. <laughs> but then Venita is saying no, that Adekule is not satisfied with the haircuts. Mm -hmm. While for three days, Angel hasn't slept in the HOH lounge, Doyin today was telling Angel that she really wished she was the one in your shoe that have access to the HOH bed. That during Messi's regime, you know, she could feel the bed was very soft, but then she never had a chance to pass the night there. Sissy decided to spend her evening with Ike, telling Ike that she's beginning to learn a lot in this house. That prior to now, when she have a problem with somebody, she will cancel everything about that person. And she gave Ike instances with the story of her boyfriend on how when they went on a trip and they had little misunderstanding, how she cancelled most of the shadows and things, adventures they were to take on that trip. And she said, no, in this house now, she's learning that if she has a problem with you and you cook, she will have to eat that food. That this house is teaching her a lot. And I told you, it can be, it will look nice. Saying that. Rounding up this gist with that of Pere and New. So Pere and New had a discussion regarding the housemates that just got evicted and Perez said he would love to see Mercy without fraud and white money's protection that she really wants to experience Mercy just Mercy alone that it may seem as though the few weeks fraud was just her backbone shielding her from everything happening in the house and now that fraud has gone that white money has already you know been in the space trying to fill up that fraud's absence that he just wants to see Messi play without all those guys around her but then he went ahead to tell Perry that whether those guys or not that Messi is still a very tough lady in the game they went ahead to analyze the game saying since they're going into six weeks who know how many people that will be going who knows if the whole nomination thing would change to eviction and some and uh, Perez said no he shouldn't because he knows that once they change that everybody will go in there to nominate him and you really assured him no that he thinks you've really changed and you've changed your story from that villain Perry to a very emotional and compassionate Perry that you've genuinely switched up the game that nobody expected to see this kind of Perry why Perez said he's glad for that, they went ahead to rebook the idea of Big Brother having immediate eviction like they did to Amaka. And they said such a thing should never even occur because if it does, that he know he def he's definitely going home. Thank you for listening and please do well to like and subscribe if you haven't done that and i'll see you in my next video feel free to drop your honest opinion regarding this midnight vibe and i'll see you in my next video enjoy the rest of your day bye